the functional safety activity commences with the creation of a safety plan as outlined in the part 2 of iso 26262 part 3 of iso 26262 consists of three key activities firstly the item need to be defined following that hazard analysis and risk assessment hara is performed to determine the acil levels for each hazardous event assessed in hara a safety goal is established Safety goal represents the top level safety requirements for the item leading to a functional safety concept called FSC. The ACIL determined for a hazardous event is assigned to its corresponding safety goal. Similar safety goals can be combined if they have the same ACIL level. In case where similar safety goals have different ACIL levels, the highest ACIL level is assigned. A safety goal must be determined for all AC levels A, B, C and D. But it is not necessary for AC levels QM and none. During the concept phase, once the safety goal has been established, we need to consider the functional safety concept FSC. The combination of safety requirements, safety architecture and outcomes of safety analysis, these three together form the safety concept. Part 3 of ISO 26262 emphasizes the safety concept at functional level while part 4 focuses on the technical level. The technical safety concept is then refined into hardware safety concept as covered in part 5 and software safety concept as covered in part 6 of ISO 26262. Functional safety is not a new concept in the industry. It has been in existence long before the introduction of the ISO 26262 standard. Let's explore the functional safety approach from the perspective of a V model. The blue color represents the traditional V model process, which is addressed by the concept phase covering the entire development process from part 3 to part 7 of ISO 26262. The red color signifies additional activities such as HARA, safety concepts, safety analysis and many more. The white color represents planning and tracking which is a mandatory and ongoing activity throughout the project execution. This activity demonstrates safety compliance and ensures traceability by the end of the project. The green line represents supporting process like change management and version management which are integral part of many mature development process but explicitly required in functional safety. 